my thing. If you saying that somebody's copying you or something like that, you sound stupid. And that's just my opinion. You light me up inside like a fourth of July. Whenever you're around, I always seem to smile. And people ask me how. Well, you're the reason why I'm dancing in the mirror. What's up, guys, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, I'm Sin. And welcome to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing something pretty new to my channel but if you guys like it I'll bring you guys some more today I'll be doing a chit chat get ready with me hair edition but it's going to be me talking about my very unpopular opinion and let's just see how it goes so I put a um a question thing on Instagram saying you know give me some topics to pretty much talk about and to give my opinion on on my video while I do my hair. And just to give you guys the beats on my hair. This is my diamond straight from Sin City Beauty. It's kind of puffy right now because I went to my sister's birthday dinner and it rained. Like, it rained. So, I'm just going to try to straighten it today. I don't put some serum on it. I just put any type of serum a little bit on the hair. And also these lashes are from Sin City Beauty as well. Indie Style Trophy Wife. So, Let's just jump right into the video. I have a few clips to try to clip my hair up. I hope they be enough. So, I'm going to just look and go to the first topic. Okay. So, they want the first thing I see is supporting your opinion on supporting other businesses and YouTubers and stuff like that. So, me me personally, I have gotten a lot of questions like, you know, will you work with other brands or other YouTubers? Like, do you support and other stuff or whatever? And honestly, my opinion with that is, I support other people as much as they support me. And I know that's petty. It is very petty. But I just feel like if I've been doing something, because I've been doing YouTube for years now. Years. And when I first started YouTube, like... People thought that was so corny, like, oh, you know, let's make fun of this because she got a YouTube. And just, you know, be they're just corny about the idea. And so, I ain't getting no support. And now that YouTube is like the way for everybody, everybody want to do YouTube, everybody want my support now. No. I'm not doing it. But for those who have supported or that I just met and are just now supporting me, yeah, I watch their videos, I comment, I like, you know, and stuff like that. But no and when it comes to other businesses no it's the same thing like i've been in the beauty business with lashes with lashes for probably about two years now hair a few months and i support those who support me and i support you as much as you support me so if you buy my products full price without me asking like i just see you pop up on my website and you buy something then of course when you do something i'm just going to pop up and do the same for you because you know that's what you did for me but if you want a friend discount or this type of discount or you know stuff like that then i'm not supporting you unless you're giving me a discount i'm not going to support you unless you know somehow you're helping me if you want to support me because it's going to help your business grow then I'm only gonna support you if it's gonna help my business girl. Like, that's just me. I'm just that petty. <laughs> like, as much as you do, it's as much as I do. And I'm gonna try to do better than that, but hmm, that's just me. So, either support me so I can support you, or don't. And you got one chance. I will support you once and see if you will give me so the same thing in return. If not, don't bother me for nothing else. And that's just that. So, boom. Another, the next thing is the Chris Brown situation slash colorism thing that happened. So, basically, if you don't know, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people know because it's been, like, going around a few, like, a, it's been going around a little bit. Basically, Chris Brown has this song. I haven't heard it because I really don't listen to Chris Brown like that, honestly. I listen to, like, the old Chris Brown, but not really, like, his current stuff. But he has a song where he said, don't quote me because I don't know 100% what it said. But it was something like, I only F with dark females with, with nice hair. So, honestly, I seen this on Twitter. And it didn't really, 
it didn't really bother me honestly because regardless of the type of females with whatever type of hair chris brown like it's not gonna get me no closer to being with him so it really doesn't matter to me but everyone took it as oh he's being colorist he only like black girls they got the nice hair they got um you know that loose textured hair that everybody want to have and they're like coming at him and then i had seen a tweet on twitter this guy saying and don't quote me with this guy might be saying it wrong but he said chris brown could say he like ketchup and everybody will say that he's being um that he's discriminating against mustard which honestly i think that is kind of where it's at right now at chris brown everybody just nitpick with everything that he does but honestly my opinion i really don't care number one and number two I think he mean what he said. He's just like black females, African American females with nice hair. You gonna have to ask him what he believe is nice hair. Because he might like type four hair. He might like type three hair. He might like long kinky hair. He might like short, loose textured hair. Like you can't just sit here and be like, oh, he mean this, he mean that. Cause you wasn't with him when he wrote the song. You wasn't with him. You was, you're not in his head to know like what he mean. And even if he did mean that, that man don't care what you gotta say. Like that man got money. That man can say what he wanna say. That man can do what he wanna do. Honestly, regardless of what y'all think. Cause guess what? He gonna still make his money. He gonna still make music saying whatever he wanna say. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I just feel like he meant what he meant. Regardless of if we know what it was that he meant or if we don't, he meant what he meant. He like black females with good hair. So that's that. The next thing is copying people in business. So I'm going to take that as in like. I don't know what they mean, but this is how I'm going to do it. I've been seeing this on YouTube, too, and also in, like, real stuff, like, in life life, not just, like, YouTube stuff. But, well, not YouTube, but, like, big business, like, small businesses. So, everybody is kind of getting, like, this idea of wanting to say other people are copying them with their ideas of their business because they can't, because they started it first. Or because they came out with that idea first. B.S bs i think at the point that we are like the point in time that we are in now is no such thing as copying somebody else's business because literally like it's probably ten thousand people doing what you're doing at this moment and did it before you did it so like that's what anything like with me selling lashes and selling hair i was not the first to do it and i'm not gonna be the last to do it so for me to sit up here and the next girl that want to start selling hair and just be like, oh, she copied me because I was selling hair first, I would look stupid. So for the people who be like, oh, she's copying this person or this person copying that person, you look stupid. You sound stupid. Because at this point in time, how can you copy somebody's idea when they copied somebody's idea? Like, I just feel like that is so stupid to say at this point in time because at this it's 2019 like there's no new business out there like everybody has done did everything it's gonna take a lot and a very creative person to be able to come up with a whole new idea that nobody has done before like i feel like it's copying if you got the same product same packaging same name same name of the business you're selling it for the same price you got everything the exact same then to me that's copying like if somebody took lashes like this these exact this exact style of lashes gave it this exact name and this exact packaging but like everything the same and then try to sell it on a website that look just like mine that says sin city beauty now you're copying and now you about to get sued but at this point in time like everyone is doing everything and I feel like what's for you is for you. So regardless if if we have 15 people in our county or country or continent that sell one thing, the same thing, what's for you is for you. Who going to want to buy from you is going to buy from you. So that's just my thing. If you're saying that somebody's copying you or something like that, you sound stupid. 
and that's just my opinion so the next thing is Nikki versus Cardi I just got one thing to say about that I used to love Nikki to death I sung every song that she did but now she's getting corny to me so I listen to Cardi B Cardi B kind of starting to get a little sideways on her music with me also but I feel like if Nikki is such a queen that she is is no need to try to go against Cardi B because Cardi B didn't come into the industry coming at anybody she came to the industry very humble so if Nikki want to be looked at as the queen that she is stop doing peasant things like it's no need to go back and forth or come at this girl or doing all of this messy stuff if you're a queen like you'll be known as a queen that'll be it so both of the females do what you do you're making your own money my opinion really don't matter to them because it's not gonna make them no more or no less money but that's just my opinion if you're a queen you don't need to do peasant things and i don't see cardi b being wrong at clapping back at Nicki minaj stuff because Nicki minaj started that's just my opinion next thing is city girls <laughs> city girl i love me some city girls like city girls is my that's my jam but honestly and i put this on twitter like a few days ago if you want to follow me on twitter you can my twitter handle will be on the screen but i don't really tweet like that so it's whatever you want to do but i want at this point i want to trade JT for Karuchi, like, or what if her name is? Her name is no Karuchi. I want to get JT and put in Young Miami because Young Miami is out here. This is she just being a disgrace to us right now. Like, her performances are trash, her verses in these songs are starting to get very trash. Like, her energy all together, trash. Like, what are you doing? Like, if you have heard that new song with. Um, it's Juicy J, um, the style, Megan the Stallion, and they got it at City Girls. Like, her verse, short and corny. Like, I just could not believe that she, that they put City Girls with that mess. Like, that was complete mess. And she knew better than that, like, you knew better. I just want JT back. Like, bring her back. She been in jail too long, like. She she must be in there getting like bad behavior or something because she been in there too long and she need to come on out because that don't make no sense like y'all whatever her real name is I can't think of it right now but she she needs to do better one hundred percent better next my opinion on frontals versus versus closures so honestly I go back and forth. But my love for closures outrain my love for frontals. And I will tell you why. This current wig I have on my head is a closure wig. I'm pretty sure you can tell. But frontals are just a lot of work. They are a lot of maintenance. Like, I do not have time to be steady and like steady trying to glue down my frontal wigs and all of that mess. Because like. I just don't got the time like I want to slap my wig on slap it off and I never learned how to do the glueless frontal thing I just don't know how to sew it up there to make it glueless so I'm just kind of over it I rather just like get like a bigger size closure and just do frontal things with it like I had asked should I add a new texture to my site or should I bring frontals I think I'm not going to add frontals to my website I think I'm just going to start adding like bigger size closures. I might do like 5 by 5s and 6 by 6 I might do 7 by 7 It depends. I play a 7 by 7 It's just too big. So I might just do like a 5 by 5 and 6 by 6 And just keep it simple. But closures reign over frontals with me. But I'm going to still wear a frontal every now and again because I have them. But I rather slap on the closure. Next. My opinion on Lil Nas coming out. My opinion is, I'm glad he came out. Live your truth. I don't see no problem. I'ma still sing the one song I know by you. And keep it moving. Like, I feel like you should not have to live in a closet because you feel like your fan base is going to leave you alone. Like, if it was a female coming out saying that she like females, I bet you people probably start bumping her music a little harder. But just because it's a man saying that he like men, it's a problem. America is just stupid to me. Yeah, America is stupid to me, honestly. But that's all I got to say. I'm happy for him. Come out. Live your truth. 
keep doing what you're doing boom next my opinion on jordan's this was mine actually because i just y'all jordan's getting my nerves but people like these dudes really spend they like they whole paycheck on a pair of jordans every time they drop when it's literally the same jordan that came out like two months ago like y'all only thing they be changing is like the color honestly it'd be like the color they be having might as well say jordan 11's part one part two part three and part four coming out three and four months at a time apart and the niggas have every last pair niggas and females like y'all y'all be making jordan and his wife rich and you know his wife getting half of that because you know she was smart <laughs> she was smart in that divorce but i just thought that is so stupid that is so stupid to me like literally it's the same shoe just a different color you just want i bought one pair of jordans in my life and i wore them like three times never put them on again i just i don't get it it's just not for me but hey y'all do what y'all want to do y'all spend y'all little check how y'all want to spend it that's y'all business okay so my next one is the little mermaid and i wrote this was mine also i was on twitter i wrote it as little mermaid mess because y'all that is nothing but a mess like why when all these um cartoons was coming out and all these disney princesses was white you ain't see the black community getting all upset like this or acting a fool like this like we i swear like we can never have nothing as a community like we have what one or two princesses that are black the only one that i know is princess tiara from princess and the frog and it didn't go like viral like this like everybody is so mad that they're going to make the little mermaid black like can our kids have a childhood too where they queens is their color like i really don't see like why it's such a big deal like i don't see what's the big deal and then i seen a tweet on twitter that was just like a girl's like um well since y'all want to make little mermaid black how about we make princess tiara from princess and the frog white and then somebody retweeted it and was like well you know what i'll take you on that one how about we make all the white um all the white disney princesses black and you can make all the black ones white y'all don't got that many because all the princesses are white like let us have this one moment like what is the big deal if you want your kids to see the white little mermaid show them the cartoon version it's that simple like it ain't no point of being all upset like it's it just i don't understand like we can never do nothing without the white people getting mad about like share this experience come to the movies and watch it too maybe you'll like it you never know don't just get mad at the beginning like dog they ain't even make it yet but the next one is my opinion on apple airpods i think those are stupid too <laughs> i think they look stupid like who thought to put bluetooth earrings i mean not earrings bluetooth headphones in your ear and then they got the piece hanging out of them looking stupid and then they cost two hundred dollars like i'm not paying two hundred dollars to put no whatever that you want to call that in your ear they, they look stupid like i rather honestly i want the little ray-ban earring not uh, ray-ban earphones headphones earphones they call earphones i don't know what to call them i want i want those because they fit like directly in your ear and i just feel like that looks a little bit better than having some mess hanging out your ear looking stupid i just feel like that looks so stupid and i'm not paying no 200 dollars for no headphones i refuse i refuse like that's stupid to me i'm not i'm just not doing it but overall apple headphones the airpods stupid that's my opinion i just think they're stupid i don't have none stupid and so my last topic is about my opinion on when they see us so y'all that series on netflix if you have not seen it please watch it and if you feel like you cannot make it through skip episode four and you really won't be able to make it through i just say I, also anybody if you watch when they see us just watch the fourth episode like honestly like all the boys it was five it was five boys you know and the whole thing but honestly my heart went out to Corey. That's just like my opinion. Like 
the whole movie i really didn't have no opinion about it the whole time i just was kind of watching it because it was like very interesting to watch and um then when i got to episode four like that's when my heart started to get pulled and tugged and like i just didn't know how to feel i was just like emotions was everywhere but it's just horrible like it's horrible what happened to them and i'm so glad that like they didn't have to spend the rest of their life in prison for stuff that they did not do they had no you know like no part of no no knowledge of like yeah like i really feel like it's not just like a must see for like the black community i feel like it's a must see or like for the brown community i feel like it's a must see for like everybody so that other people so that people who discriminate against each other like i don't feel like just the black race is discriminated against or like the brown i guess because african americans you know and mexicans and stuff are discriminated against i feel like we discriminate against other people also we just do it kind of like people feel like you know they can do it as a get back like oh well, we've been discriminated against for so long why not or whatever but like, i just feel like we should all as a whole stop because like that they, they was just kids like no idea of any of that going on and they had all of that against them already like it's just it makes you think like i don't want my kids growing up and something like this could possibly happen to them because people are still discriminating against each other over stupid stuff like that's just like my opinion on that but that series is so good i recommend anybody who want who think they want to see it to see it if you think you can't get through it watch it anyway i don't watch it like three or four times like it is really good but i just finished flat ironing my hair out and this is what she's looking like so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and if you would like me to do another kind of unpopular opinion video comment down some topics you'll want me to kind of put into that video or if you don't like this video don't say nothing and if you would like to you know i guess clap back in my opinions or whatever you can do it in the comments i'm not gonna argue with you but i will talk to you you know i like to see the other people's opinions on stuff i love to do that you can ask my boyfriend me him go i'll i ask him so many um open-ended questions just so I, we can talk and i can see what his mind at and everything else i do that with a lot of people so you know if you want to you can always do it down in the description i mean yeah you can always do that down in the comments but this is the end of that video if you guys would like to shop this hair or these lashes the link is in the description box i mean not description box and yeah it is in the description box down below and also a coupon for you guys to shop and to get money off of your order but i'm gonna end this video here this is sin signing off peace sin sin city was made for you angels like you